Today I'm going to read When We Were Very Young by A. A. Milne with decorations by Ernest H. Shepard. And this is the same author and illustrator that has done Winnie the Pooh books. So you may recognize, you may look familiar. <clears throat> this is halfway down. When we were very young. Oh, it's dedicated to Christopher Robin Milne, or as he prefers to call himself, Billy Moon. This book, which owes so much to him, is now humbly offered. <clears throat> I won't I won't read the just before we begin part. I'll get right to this content. Corner of the street. Down by the corner of the street, where the three roads meet, and the feet of the people as they pass go, tweet, 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 who comes tripping round the corner of the street? One pair of shoes, which are nurses, one pair of slippers, which are Percy's. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Buckingham Palace. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. Alice is marrying one of the guard. A soldier's life is terrible hard, says Alice. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. We saw a guard in a sentry box. One of the sergeants looks after their socks, says Alice. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. We're looking for the king, but he never came. Well, God, take care of him all the same, says Alice. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. They've great big parties inside the grounds. I wouldn't be king for a hundred pounds, says Alice. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. A face looked out, but it wasn't the king's. He's much too busy assigning things, says Alice. They're changing guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher Robin went down with Alice. Do you think the king knows all about me? Sure to, dear, but it's time for tea, says Alice. Happiness. You playing in the rain? John had great big waterproof boots on. John had a great big waterproof hat. John had a great big waterproof Macintosh. And that, said John, is that. It's fun to play in the rain. The christening. What shall I call my dear little dormouse? His eyes are small, but his tail is enormous. I sometimes call him Terrible John, because his tail goes on and on and on. And I sometimes call him Terrible Jack, because his tail goes on to the end of his back. And I sometimes call him Terrible James, because he says he likes me calling him names. But I think I'll show but I think I shall call him Jim, because I am so fond of him. Little mouse, pet. Have you ever had a pet mouse? I have. Mine had babies. <laughs> that was a surprise. Puppy and I. I met a man as I went walking. We got talking, man and I. Where are you going to, man, I said. I said to the man as he went by. Down to the village to get some bread. Will you come with me? No, not I. I met a horse as I went walking. We got talking, horse and I. Where are you going to, horse, today? I said to the horse as he went by. Down to the village to get some hay. Will you come with me? No, not I. 
I met a woman as I went walking. We got talking, woman and I. Where are you going to, woman, so early? I said to the woman as she went by. Down to the village to get some barley. Will you come with me? No, not I. I met some rabbits as I went walking. We got talking, rabbits and I. Where are you going in your brown fur coats? I said to the rabbits as they went by. Down to the village to get some oats. Will you come with us? No, not I. Three rabbits. <laughs> I met a puppy as I went walking. We got talking, puppy and I. Where are you going this nice fine day? I said to the puppy as he went by. Up in the hills to roll and play. I'll come with you, puppy, said I. I guess she wanted, or he wanted to go up in the hills to roll and play. <clears throat> Twinkle toes. Looks like a little fairy. When the sun shines through the leaves of the apple tree, when the sun makes shadows of the leaves of the apple tree, then I pass on the grass from one leaf to another, from one leaf to its brother. Tiptoe, tiptoe, here I go. The Four Friends. Ernest, Ernest was an elephant, a great big fellow. Leonard was a lion with a six-foot tail. George was a goat, and his beard was yellow. And James was a very small snail. Leonard had a stall and a great big strong one. Ernest had a manger, and its walls were thick. George found a pen, but I think it was the wrong one. And James sat down on a brick. Ernest started trumpeting and cracked his manger. Leonard started roaring and shivered his stall. James gave the huffle of a snail in, in danger, and nobody heard him at all. <laughs> Ernest started trumpeting and raised such a rumpus. Leonard started roaring and trying to kick. James went a journey with the goat's new compass, and he reached the end of his brick. Ernest was an elephant and very well-intentioned. Leonard was a lion with a brave new tail. George was a goat, as I think I have mentioned, but James was only a snail. <laughs> Loaves, or er, no, lines and squares. The bears. They look like bears. Not sure what they're up to. Whenever I walk in a London street, I'm ever so careful to watch my feet, and I keep in the squares and the masses of bears who wait at the corners all ready to eat. The sillies who tread on the lines of the street go back to their lairs, and I say to them, Bears, just look how I'm walking in all of the squares. And the little bears growl to each other, he's mine, as soon as he's silly and steps on a line. And some of the bigger bears try to pretend that they came round the corner to look for a friend. And they try to pretend that nobody cares whether you walk on the lines or squares. But only the sillies believe their talk. It's ever so important how you walk. And it's ever so jolly to call out, bears, just watch me walking in all the squares. Hi, Betty. <laughs> Brownie. In a corner of the bedroom is a great big curtain. Someone lives behind it, but I don't know who. I think it is a brownie, but I'm not quite certain. Nanny isn't certain, too. I look behind the curtain, but he went so quickly, brownies never wait to say, how do you do? They wriggle off at once because they're all so tickly. Nanny says they're tickly, too. Independence. 
I never did, I never did, I never did like. Now take care, dear. I never did, I never did, I never did want. Hold my hand. I never did, I never did, I never did think much of. Not up there, dear. It's no good saying it. They don't understand. Sometimes it seems like parents worry too much about your safety, huh? But I just want to keep you safe, not let you get hurt. Nursery chairs. One of the chairs is South America. One of the chairs is the ship at sea. One is a cage for a great big lion, and one is a chair for me. The first chair. When I go up the Amazon, I stop at night and fire a gun to call my faithful band. And Indians in twos and threes come silently between the trees and wait for me to land. And if I do not want to play with any Indians today, I simply wave my hand and then they turn and go away. They always understand. The second chair. I'm a great big lion in my cage and I often frighten Nanny with a roar. Then I hold her very tight and tell her not to be so frightened and she doesn't be so frightened anymore. Oh, that's cute. Nanny is like a, a grandmother or babysitter, someone that takes care of you besides your mom and dad. The third chair. When I am in my ship, I see the other ships go sailing by. A sailor leans and calls to me as his ship goes sailing by. Across the sea he leans to me, above the winds I hear him cry. Is this the way to round the world? He calls as he goes by. The fourth chair. Whenever I sit in a high chair for breakfast or dinner or tea, I try to pretend that it's my chair and that I am an, and that I am a baby of three. Shall I go off to South America? Shall I put out in my ship to sea? Or get in my cage and be lions and tigers? Or shall I be only me? It's fun to pretend different things. Market Square. She's offering him something, huh? I had a penny, a bright new penny. I took my penny to the market square. I wanted a rabbit, a little brown rabbit, and I looked for a rabbit most everywhere. For I went to the stall where they sold sweet lavender. Only a penny for a bunch of lavender. Have you got a rabbit? Because I don't want lavender. But they hadn't got a rabbit, not anywhere there. I had a penny and I had another penny. I took my pennies to the market square. I did want a rabbit, a little baby rabbit, and I looked for rabbits most everywhere. And I went to the stall where they sold fresh mackerel. Now then, tuppence for a fresh caught mackerel. Have you got a rabbit? Cause I don't like mackerel. But they hadn't got a rabbit, not anywhere there. Man trying to sell him a fish. I found a sixpence, a little white sixpence. I took it in my hand to the market square. I was buying my rabbit. I do like rabbits, and I looked for my rabbit most everywhere. So I went to the stall where they sold fine saucepans. Walk up, walk up, sixpence for a saucepan. Could I have a rabbit? Because we've got two saucepans. But they hadn't got a rabbit. Not anywhere there. Oh, it's getting sad. He really wants a rabbit. Let's see what happens. I had.
had nothing. No, I hadn't got nothing. So I didn't go down to the market square. But I walked down the common, the old gold common, and I saw little rabbits most everywhere. So I'm sorry for the people who sell fine saucepans. I'm sorry for the people who sell fresh mackerel. I'm sorry for the people who sell sweet lavender because they haven't got a rabbit not anywhere there. Lots of rabbits where he is. Daffodown Dilly. There's daffodils. She wore her yellow sunbonnet. She wore her greenest gown. She turned to the south wind and cur curtsied up and down. She turned to the sunlight and shook her yellow head and whispered to her neighbor, Winter is dead. Daffodils come up in the spring, huh? Water lilies. Where the water lilies go to and fro, rocking in the ripples of the water, Lazy on a leaf lies the late king's daughter, and the faint winds shake her. Who will come and take her? I will, I will. Keep still, keep still. Sleeping on a leaf lies the late king's daughter. Then the wind comes skipping to the lilies on the water. When the kind winds wake her, now who will take her? With a laugh she is slipping through the li lilies on the water. Wait, wait, too late, too late. Only the water lilies go to and fro, dipping, dipping to the ripples of the water. Disobedience. Hmm. Do you know what that means? It means not doing what your parents or teachers tell you. Disobedience. James, James, Morris and Morrison, whether be George Dupree, took great care of his mother, though he was only three. James, James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. James, James, Morrison's mother put on a golden gown. James, James, Morrison's mother drove to the end of the town. James James Morrison's mother said to herself, said she, I can get right down to the end of the town and be back in the time and be back in time for tea. King John put up a notice, lost or stolen or strayed. James James Morrison's mother seems to have been mislaid. Last seen wandering vaguely, quite of her own accord. She tried to get down to the end of the town. Forty shillings reward. Uh oh. Is he worried about his mom? Where she went without him? James James Morrison Morrison, commonly known as Jim, told his other relations not to go blaming him. James James said to his mother, Mother, he said, said he, you must never go down to the end of the town without consulting me. James, James, Morrison's mother hadn't been heard of since. Hasn't been heard of since. King John said he was sorry. So did the queen and prince. King John, somebody told me, said to a man he knew, If people go down to the end of the town, well, what can anyone do? Now then, very softly. J J M M W G D P took great care of his M though he was only three. J J said to his M M he said said he, you must never go down to the end of the town if you don't go down with me. Spring morning. It's windy. Is he flying a kite? 
What's he doing there? Where am I going? I don't quite know. Down to the stream where the king cups grow. Up on the hill where the pine trees blow. Anywhere, anywhere. I don't know. <clears throat> where am I going? The clouds sail by. Little ones, baby ones, over the sky. Where am I going? The shadows pass. Little ones, baby ones, over the grass. If you were a cloud and sailed up there, you'd sail on water as blue as air. And you'd see me here in the fields and say, doesn't the sky look green today? Where am I going? The high rocks, high rooks call. It's awful fun to be born at all. Where am I going? The ring doves coo. We do have beautiful things to do. If you were a bird and lived on high, you'd lean on the wind when the wind came by. You'd say to the wind when it took you away, that's where I wanted to go today. Where am I going? I don't quite know. What does it matter where people go? Down to the wood where the bluebells grow. Anywhere, anywhere, I don't know. I think I will take a break now. And I'll read some more in another video. Because that's pretty long.